Sasha from NetbookNews.com here and uh, finally a new unboxing again. Uh, some of you might remember this little fellow over here. That's the EPC T91. I didn't get the um, multi-touch version. Oh, well, that's me without a cap with short hair. Anyways, so glossy display. Um, that was the first uh, Netvertible from Asus uh, with the 8.9 inch display, 1024 by 600 and running on the Menlo platform means our Intel Silverthorn processor running at 1.3 GHz. But there is a new evolution, well let's say not a new evolution but an evolution. That's a T101, that's a 10 inch version and it also comes with multi-touch and I just bought it over here at the Guanghua computer market and I'm just about to do the unboxing right now, of course. So let's finally take a look at this because I just can't wait. I've been waiting for this device now for roughly around a year since they first announced it uh, at CS 2009. Okay, let's take a look what's in here. So this one is running on uh, Pine Trail, means Intel Atom and 450. Should come with one gigabyte of RAM and a 320 gigabyte hard disk drive. So let's see what's in the package, PSU, of course, power cord, um, here's, wow, there's a, still a support DVD, I'm not sure if there's a Windows 7 Home Premium even on this DVD, that would be kind of interesting. There's a little manual, of course in uh, Mandarin, or in Chinese, simplified Chinese, so um, I can bin this immediately because I just can't read it. And here is the battery. Should be a lithium polymer battery. And capacity is 35 watt hours. Mm, when I just briefly calculate um, the runtime, um, it should run, let's say, for some between five to six hours, I would guess. Right. Asus is saying six and a half hours plus. I'm really, really doubting that because it seems to me like they're always doing um, their battery testing in idle mode. You know, and uh, you know, watch out for the MSI Wind U160, where MSI is claiming it to have 15 hours of battery life. That's a funny little joke. But anyways, let's go on with this and let's take a look at the T101 MT. Finally, let's. Bang, get rid of this box. And here we go. And first thing you can see it has a non glossy finish. Fantastic. Thank you, Asus. Uh, I got the block <laughs> black version, obviously. And um, yeah, it feels very, very good. It feels it feels kind of expensive, you know. But this is this isn't a fingerprint magnet anymore. Um, let's take a look around the system. So um, we have the jacks for microphone and the headset here. There's a 4-in-1 card reader. There is pretty much nothing on the front. There is a USB 2.0 here. And the stylus. Um, two more USB and Ethernet cable connector, VGA out. Um, connector for the PSU and Kensington Keylock. That's it pretty much on the back side. I think we can access the memory here. Does it come with an optional 3G already? Mm, it looks like it will it will go down here. So yeah, looks good. Let's get the battery in there and boot it up ASAP. Okay, here we go. Uh, now let's see. Let's open this here. Ta -da -da -da. Chiclet keyboard, like all the new EPCs right now. So, and actually, pretty decent, you know, it's not really bending. Um, I would uh, compare this to the build quality of the um, 1008P, um, the Karim Rashid series. So, that feels very solid. Um, pretty decent uh, left and right shift keys, huge um, tap key, which I really like. Yeah, good keyboard. This um, multi touch uh, trackpad, too. Nice surface. I like that. Here we go. 
a single mouse button but um, actually it feels a little cheap uh, when you're pressing it down on the edges so but um, yeah I hope it would survive with me because I'm always hard to my systems and um, yeah another thing that you immediately can see is tons of uh, stickers again thank you Asus you know, on the one hand, you're saying you're getting rid of um, the installation disk to save the environment, but then you're still getting all these stickers on your system. I mean, what the... Beep! Um, come on, that's kind of pathetic, you know? Just, uh, just leave all this stuff. Just, I mean, I, I bought it already, and I know what kind of features it has, you know? You don't need to sell it to me again. I'm not getting into a shop and going to buy another one because I love your stickers or whatever. So, anyways, let's get rid of all this here. So, yeah, and the display is also... You know, I wouldn't say it's... Yeah, it's, 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 it's non-glare, it's non-glossy. Absolutely. So, any more stickers here? Oops. I guess I uh, accidentally already switched it on. Oh, oh yeah, I pressed the express uh, the express gate button that you can see over here. So there's this little express gate button, which is booting into um, this one here, which is booting into this little splash top fork. Um, there's a power button, set express gate button, couple of status LEDs here, and here is. Um, the stylus. By the way, really, really cool one. Feels very solid, very good. Good build quality in general. Okay, anything else? We have a webcam on top of it. I think it's 1.3 megapixel. But that's it pretty much. You know what? Let's do a little size comparison with the T101 and the T91. I mean, that's a huge difference, isn't it? Look at this. So. Both of them are part of the EPC Touch series, and yeah, how about thickness? Here we go, T91 on top, T101 on the bottom. So yeah, that, that looks pretty good. Let's boot it up for the first time. Ah, here we go. Okay. So as I said, 320 gigabyte ordinary hard disk drive. Um, it's running Windows 7 Home Premium. I'm pretty sure it will be a Chinese version, so this is always a little bit exciting. Because uh, actually that's always a live recording. I mean, I really unbox it right now for the first time. I'm going to do this uh, differently for the German video. So, Okay, this, this, this takes a while. Setup is updating registry settings, you know, whatever it's setting up right now. Anyways, uh, let me tell you a little bit about my first impression already. Um, very positive. Um, build quality is very decent, very solid. Let me compare this to Lenovo S10 uh, 3T and uh, Gigabyte T1000 and the Villif S10. You know what? Now, don't get it wrong, Gigabyte and Lenovo and Villif. I would go for the Asus. Like, I, I can already tell. I mean, um, all, all these systems are pretty much uh, sporting the same uh, platform, except the Villif S10 because it's running on Menlo. But in terms of build quality and in terms of form factor, I am definitely digging uh, um, the Asus. So, it is installing a couple of devices. I think. Uh, we go in pause mode over here because I have no clue how long Yay, this I made it after some, uh, I don't know, 15 minutes? Oh no, I don't want to register. After some f 15 minutes of setting up the system and uh, when uh, the whole operating system and whatever ASUS did to it because there was an ASUS screen coming up, uh, did all this initializing of the system and um, a reboot again finally I'm on the desktop of Windows 7 Home Premium and uh, yeah I guess I just clicked another evil button here registration now I don't want to register right now stop it here close it uh, thank you 
here we go. So what I would like to show you is um, a couple of features um, of the system that ASUS added to it. Well, first of all, you can already see our there's lots of stuff pre-installed on this computer, so I'm pretty sure that I would love to run a decrepifier, especially Windows DVD Maker. Come on, this is an advertible. I don't want to make DVDs with it. It's running on an Intel Atom N450. It doesn't even have an optical drive. You know, I mean, it install Crisis 2 on it. It would make as much sense as this Windows DVD Maker. Come on, guys. Cyberlink UCAM is kind of fun. Um, what else? Microsoft Office. I don't need Microsoft Office. I don't need Microsoft Word. I don't need this Windows Live stuff. Uh, Ebi ebook reader or Ebi ebook reader. What's that? Let's give it a try. And uh, while this one is loading, uh, let me show you maybe this little feature over here. I can switch between a pen mode and a finger mode, which definitely uh, makes it easier for you to write with a stylus because you can rest your palm on the touch screen. It's going to recognize the palm of your hand and you can still write uh, with the stylus. Right now I'm in this finger mode, so maybe I would like to switch over to the pen mode. Here we go. In general, I can tell you already one thing. Um, oh no, it's downloading stuff. Whatever. The hard disk feels very, very slow. Uh, I think the overall system definitely needs to be cleaned up. That That's my first impression right now after booting all this up and I don't even want to know how many processes are running in the background. It feels a little bit slow right now. So I definitely have to take a look at it. And, uh, oh yeah, the Ebi book reader uh, comes in a language that makes it very easy for me to handle this program. I like that one. Save trees, right? Read ebooks. Uh, of course, I'm accepting the licenses and the policies. So, let's see. Yeah, unfortunately, um, this is not using my native language. Let's quit this program and uh, let's ask Asus why they are just not going for Kindle for PC. Over here you have this little uh, taskbar that you can uh, drag down and where we can also switch over to the... Well, I'm just going to show you there are a couple of programs here so you can see um, but we can also use a new front and that we already saw the T91 for the first time. Here we go. So what I can do here is uh, I can set up my favorite applications. So this uh, photo fun. Oh, maybe I should use the stylus right now because I'm in pen mode. That makes sense. You know just to prove that it's really <laughs> recognizing uh, my fingerprint. So, um, my computer, okay, here are different folders. Let's check this out. And let's see if there are any com pictures available. Hmm. Here we go. Fantastic. A photo view without any pictures is always lots of fun. Anyway, so um, you can view pictures with this one. And I definitely should switch back into the finger mode right now. Because it makes it a little bit easier for me to handle the whole thing here. Okay, finally. Um, you can also change these uh, favorite applications to a couple of other ones. Uh, but really only a couple. You know, actually, this is something that I would love to show you. It's uh, Asus Vibe. Let's get rid of this one and get the Asus Vibe in there because uh, it seems like Asus is also becoming a little content provider right now. Um, Asus Vibe is a kind of platform for content streaming uh, on the EPC series and they hooked up with a couple of content providers right now and made a very, very decent uh, 
uh, a platform and this went live I think just a couple of weeks ago so this is still brand new um, and I still want to get an SSD in this system it is just annoying how slow this hard disk is sorry to tell this Asus but it's somehow it's it's really killing this experience it feels come on this is not running on Menlo anymore like on T91 I could kind of understand it but at least you got a not really a decent one, but an average SSD in there. So in terms of loading application, um, the T91 was way faster, even though that it was running on um, the Silverstone uh, CPU. This one feels a little bit slow right now, and it's loading and loading and loading. Jeez, we all have appointments at, at Christmas. Okay, let's go through the whole pro. Oh, here we go. Was this okay now? Okay. You see, I don't even know if it if it, if it's really responding to my to my click or my okay because then it's loading again and ah, <sighs> come on. Cannot activate the service. Why is that? I'm connected to the internet. Let's give it one more try. Please, you should work. Here we go, finally. Okay, so, yeah, there are a couple of channels, um, there are games, there's music going on. I think I need to set up our, my, my country settings so that I'm not only getting uh, Taiwanese stuff, but hey, this feels kinder. Feels a little bit slow right now for me. Um, okay, let's... Here, what is this? Green Day. Let's get this one a try. Okay play this I mean I'm I'm on a 10 mbit internet connection so this should be way faster and to be honest uh, guys I know this is from Asus it's Asus vibe I don't even want to see any more EPC seashell or eTop ads on there that's not getting more performance on your system just dragging it down holy sh shoot look at this so, um, maybe we should get rid of all this stuff right now and we will take a closer look uh, at all the pre-installed software after I cleaned up my T101. But first of all, you know, what was important for me? Important for me was the form factor and the build quality. The system has a fantastic build quality. In my opinion, the best build quality that I've seen on that vertible so far, on a 10-inch one right now. And, um... So I, I I really like the I, li I like the look I like the form factor, and um, I can tell you that I like the pre-installed Windows 7, how they set it up right now. It feels very slow, and um, the the touch screen is pretty responsive. Um, I like the idea of having um, the the pen mode and the finger mode, but I definitely have to take a closer look into all this. So anyways, first impression, very, very good. Um, that's the EPC T101 MT. That's Dasha for netbooknews.com. Thanks for watching these 20 minutes of unboxing and first impression of this Netvertible from Asus.